taking a stroll through a beautiful park again here in Laguna guys in Thailand and this morning I was watching some videos some all-time videos guys and one of those videos was that we were on television um, at a program POW it's a late night show and they were attacking us on the late night show about the education of our children because we were telling them our story our adventure that we are traveling the world and we're fully in Bitcoin believing in this new future really centralized uh, where education that's uh, will got a new role and, but they were attacking us they were like ah you are stupid why will you do that why would you make your kids stupid why would you think that children would learn anything from just jumping in the pool in Thailand um, of course my daughter myself my wife we all stayed calm we were like okay that's your opinion we have our own opinion and hopefully you're able to respect our own opinion like we are respecting yours opinion but they didn't really respect our opinion they thought we were like crazy people and at that time on the table um, I already was talking about this new decentralized future where um, children didn't need to memorize books anymore they needed to be prepared for the future not for the past because memorizing books is something from the 50s man we are living in a complete new uh, time that we don't need to memorize stuff anymore our telephone is modern than we are and this morning I was watching this video and again I'm like wow I'm so happy I didn't force my children to go to schools so where they just focus on memorizing books and a little bit of social skills because now that this new technology blockchain has evolved uh, and is, be is being combined with um, ChatGPT, the first AI um, search engine, we can see what is happening to the world. We don't need to memorize nothing anymore. ChatGPT is like a Google on steroids. Like Google, if you search something, you need to scroll through 50,000 pages to get the result and then you need to filter the real results. ChatGPT now is making a summarize of those 50,000 pages if you want and will give you the true answer. This of course will evolve to these AI algorithms being combined with the blockchain technology based cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and that will be this new future of possibilities that we can't think of right now. And definitely the schools of today are not thinking on it right now. So yes, I'm teaching my children everything about ChatGPT. Yes, I'm taking, teaching them everything about the blockchain, about the Bitcoin, the combinations that could happen and follow out of that because that is the future, guys. That is the future. Just go to the website and just ask him to write a beautiful summarize of the technology Bitcoin and what it can do for you. It will take you 10 seconds and bam. You have to summarize. You don't need to go to a library, to books, to Google, to anything anymore. It will summarize that for you. And that's why the memorizing skill is not that important anymore. It becomes way more important that your kids are creative, open-minded, that they can think of things that they need to tell these artificial intelligence algorithms to do or to research while they focus on other stuff in life. So for us as a family, this is a huge confirmation of the things that we did we're right. Yes, we were right by taking the kids out of regular school and homeschooling them, unschooling them, preparing them for the future because we knew that the knowledge that people have in their minds would be replaced by the knowledge of artificial intelligence. And we will not be able to compete when it comes to memorizing with artificial intelligence because they will be better, faster, way more advanced in memorizing stuff than we will ever be as human beings. So um, that was about schooling. So for all the people that still doubt uh, on the steps that we took about schooling, I do need to admit that the social aspect of schooling is very important. And so I think that schools should be reformed to these social meetup places where children can exchange their knowledge that they gathered at homeschooling so when they homeschool or self school go to these beautiful meet places that they call a school where they can socialize and you know exchange the values and norms all the knowledge that they gathered by using all these new algorithms and technologies like blockchain bitcoin or chat gpt guys so for me yes education is still important i think education is still one of the most powerful weapons in the world but the education should be done right the future edge of education i don't know where it will be going but guys i think the world is changing very rapidly now in a world that we can't um, even foresee at the moment the combination the powerful combination of blockchain artificial intelligence uh, cryptocurrencies like bitcoin mainly of course they are changing the world completely because we have never lived in a world where machines can be communicating with each other paying each other and all that kind of stuff we are moving into that kind of world 
where my fridge can pay a grocery store and the grocery store can deliver the goods and the robot can put the goods in my fridge again. Something like that. That's the far future, but that is the future. And we are seeing the start of this now. We are seeing the start of this with an algorithm, chat GPT, that is taking over a shitload of jobs that other people should have been doing that were educated and had a certificate to do the jobs. If I need to write a blog now, I don't need a professional writer anymore. I can just let JetGBT write a blog on whatever I want in like 10 seconds. And then I rephrase some stuff, do a grammatic control because of AI as well. And then bam, you have a blog. And then you put a video below it and then you have a YouTube video. And then you put an avatar on it that with a voice that will read the text that you just copied and pasted from JetGPT in the video. And you have a complete YouTube video with a person speaking that people believe that is really a person but still is an artificial intelligence. <laughs> Something like that, guys. The future is going crazy. But I love it, and I love to see uh, this advancement and technology. But I do prepare my kids also to be outside, playing, walking, and doing the stuff that we as human beings should be doing, enjoying life to the fullest. Bitcoin, yes, 23K, beautiful level. Hopefully, we can go to uh, 25K, maybe 30K even in this push. You know, if it is the same push that we saw in uh, 2019, from 3K to 14K, that's like almost four times. And then, uh, oh, there would be a beautiful push now from uh, 15K to 60k guys i don't think that it's going to happen but like 30 to 40k could be in the picture and then a drop back before we go fully in the new bull run guys i'm doing my steps i need to do 10,000 steps my apple watch is telling me 10,000 steps because i need to get more healthy lose some weight and that's what i'm doing every day training walking and all that stuff while i make these videos ah, perfect combination look how beautiful this room here is uh, they have these beautiful things over here or you can walk on, stand on, or do your yoga or sports. Yeah, it's a little bit more Western looking Thailand. It's a little bit more like sophisticated. It's not the Thailand from Koh Phangan, uh, where you have the real island vibe. You still have an island vibe, but you need to be on the beaches. And if you walk in these parks, you're like, okay, this development has gone very rapid as well. Um, and yes, also there in the future, the developments of these houses I think will become smart houses that you can control and pay with your Bitcoin wallet. Maybe these houses will be their, be, be their own entities and uh, not even owned anymore by us. How can that happen? Let's say that those houses are paid by human beings at the moment. They are built. And now those houses will get their own Bitcoin wallet and they will claim to be an own entity because they are artificial intelligent. And then those houses will ask a loan from human beings to become this own entity. So the house loans from me. I become the lender. And that house will be renting itself out through artificial intelligence websites like Airbnb, letting the people in, the people pay with debit cards or with Bitcoin, of course. And then the money that the house then is um, collecting in their own wallet, from that money, it will be paying me my interest that I ask for my lending to that house. And then the house, when it's broken, it will give an assignment to an artificial intelligence website to be repaired. And then the repairman will come, repair the house, and will be paid by the house itself. Maybe that is the next step of the evolution of all these technologies combined. That every single entity in the world, human being or non-human being, can be an own entity, owning an own wallet. And by that, not only communicating with each other, but also transacting value with each other. Just think about it. It could happen. I'm not saying that it's gonna happen, but kind of believe that, yeah, that is the future that we are going into. Strange developments, but they are going very rapidly. And again, I think that you just need to embrace the evolution of technology like we have always done. We can start to fight it and we can start to resist it, but that doesn't work. We tried to fight the internet in the beginning and email in the beginning, and there was a huge resistance of the government and everything else. And at the end, we all embraced it and we are all using these technologies now. I'm walking with this small piece in my hand and I will upload a video to YouTube so that you all can see this. So we are all embracing that technology. And that will also help in, of course, in my opinion, to blockchain, Bitcoin, uh, artificial intelligence. All these evolutions of these technologies will be combined and will be very powerful and unpredictable in my honest opinion. But let's see. Let's always uh, look on the bright side of life and look how that can change the world in a positive way and free us from very centralized entities like governments and central banks. Because that is still the revolution why I'm in Bitcoin. 
It is the decentralization of the world, taking the power back to the people from those centralized entities, governments, central banks, and that 1% that tries to rule the world with vaccinations and all that shit. I'm so happy seeing the news coming out now, how many over deaths and everything there is, that my smart brain told myself, don't do vaccinations, don't give your kids vaccinations, stay healthy, stay normal. And that is, I think, what we should all be doing, our own due diligence, also on health issues, also on cryptocurrencies, also on the future of our children, our due diligence. And we need to be able to do that, and that is only possible when there is freedom of speech, freedom of information, freedom, freedom of transacting values, and all of that is only possible in a completely decentralized world where no centralized entities like governments or central banks will be able to influence decisions that you make or force you to make decisions because they have the power and control on you because you need their currency or their system. We can build our own system. We are strong enough, we are intelligent enough, and now with the help of these intelligent tools, we don't need those people in suits anymore. We can beautifully create DAOs where we decentralize in an anonymous way, do proposals, do voting, and then decide where we take the world collectively as human beings and not because a few people like Schwab's and all those guys tell you that you will die of a flu and then shove you full with vaccinations to protect you from that flu while they don't help you but they are alternating your DNA. So this turned out a little bit different than I intended this discussion uh, but I hope you have still a beautiful Sunday and when I'm walking here of course again this huge lizard is crossing every time when I walk somewhere these lizards start crossing. It's a big one, beautiful one. By the way, if you want to know more about ChatGPT and all the stuff that we are doing as a Bitcoin family, uh, then do visit the bitcoinfamily.com. We started blogging again a little bit. So also information about Bitcoin, simple information. So what is Bitcoin? What is Bitcoin mining? But also what is ChatGPT? How do I think that ChatGPT is going to influence the world? So go to the bitcoinfamily.com if you want to know more. See you next time. Bye.